Hi guys, and thanks mean for everyone tuning in today. I really appreciate the support for Digital Business Ireland and home by Flexify. So Cyber Week, we kick off this day next month with Black Friday on Friday 27th to November and then Cyber Monday on November 30th. It's going to be the biggest one in history. All experts are expecting the same thing, obviously with a huge shift in online since earlier this year due to lockdown. Now more than ever, your online presence is the most important uh, sales channel within your business. So we'll kick things off. As I know, everybody's under time pressure. So what we'll be doing today, guys, so this is a quick overlook of the agenda. We'll be going through email marketing, social media, campaign planning, your business operations, SEO and website experience, and then supports. So first off, we'll do email marketing. It's still an extremely important aspect to every business whether it be driving sales, positive brand awareness, or else interaction with your customer uh, base, whether it be loyalty customers, building that base, or also obviously attracting brand new customers. So first off, just a quick snapshot of different email fundamentals that you guys should all be utilizing. Personalization is key. So it obviously has to be relevant content for the relevant user. Say, for example, with myself, I'll be into athletics, health and fitness, lifestyle sports. We'll take for an example here. They might hit me with different notifications for Adidas and Nike footwear, different training weather coming into the winter season to keep me warm. And for example, where it wouldn't be obviously as effective if different brands were uh, hitting me or advertising, for example, with different content that just wouldn't appeal to me. So for example, you obviously have to take into account previous uh, interaction with your campaigns, whether it be through social media, email, website browsing activity, and just what the actual uh, customers have been browsing across various different search engines, for example. Your subject line has to be captivating and also has to draw the user um, into opening uh, that email first and foremost, whether it be first to the finish, um, get this now, latest product. Um, it has to be captivating for the user and it obviously has to be relevant and appealing. Time to send is crucial. So this is where you obviously need to monitor shopping habits, for example, what works well, whether it be on the way to work, on the bus, on the Lewis in previous times. It could be after work, for example, it could be on lunchtime. So what you need to do is you need to be monitoring the, monitoring the customer data based on previous interactions and campaigns when customers are most likely to actually convert and can conduct a purchase on your website. Email segmentation is also another key aspect. So what you need to do is you need to break these into various different sectors. Whether it be health and fitness, could be beauty, it could be food, it could be a home and garden, it could be DIY, for example. So you need to be obviously sending the correct message to the right uh, customer base at the right time. So all these three fundamental steps will obviously increase your brand awareness, it'll boost the interaction with customers, and they'll also be more likely to actually convert and make purchase on your website. One thing that's really, really important, obviously now more than ever, is reward the loyal customers. Those that are brand advocates, they've completed multiple purchases over the years. You need to reward them with different loyalty offers, different gift guides. There just has to be more added value for being a customer with your brand. And you need to show that now more than ever, you obviously care and you're looking out for them. And also similarly enticing new customers. You need to give them a reason to obviously shop with your brand compared to another competitor. What makes you differentiate? What different USB or competitive advantage do you have for various different competitors? Whether it be new email offers, primarily it could be discount codes, for example, for new customers signing up online. Sometimes what you see on different websites, it's like a wheel to spin for new customers. So you can spin for discounts. And that's very popular obviously now with Cyber Week coming up uh, fast approaching with discounts across the board. But what you have to do is it's obviously real value for the customers. Next up, daily deals and sneak peeks. What you can do is you can obviously create fun, excitement with your customer database, like the daily deals. Say for example, if you're a home and electrical um, appliance operator, you might have Hoover's on Monday, you might have dishwashers on Tuesday, you could have cookers, for example, on Wednesday. So just Obviously, it depends on the various different sectors you're in, but just it just appeals as more added value for the customers for that. And obviously, what you can do is now at the moment, sneak peeks. You can do this, whether it be email, you can do it across social media. 
you can do it across any various different channels that you're interacting with your customers. So it's just a quick sneak peek of the offers that are due to come, whether it be on Black Friday, Cyber Monday, or else if you've already started your deals at the moment, just keep them enticed and interactive with your brand. Content is key, it has to be relevant uh, for the customer that you're trying to interact with, and obviously to boost engagement with your brand, which will touch wood increase their likely to purchase in the checkout. So it has to obviously be relevant and appealing to the customers. So you need to utilize all the previous data you have on hand, whether it be their search search engine uh, history, whether it be on your website, could be interacting with social media campaigns or else previous engagement with email campaigns. For example, responsive and optimization. This is crucial across all various different platforms, whether it be desktop, laptop, mobile. Testing is key for this one, guys. So you obviously need to make sure that your campaigns are fully optimized. Everything's in appearing as it should across all devices. So it has to be a smooth, interactive experience for your users. Clear call to actions. It has to be so clear and easy for the actual customer to interact with your brands, whether it be you're looking to sell a product, buy now, shop now, for example, if you're looking for somebody to sign up to an event or it can be awards entry, for example, enter now, just has to be quick and easy for the customers up the top in the middle, main body of the email and then down the bottom as well. So you're getting all the funnel points there. Measurement. So this is a crucial aspect in terms of obviously reporting and measuring how the email campaigns are performing effectively, whether it be over the past year, over the past couple of months or else day to day. If you're engaging in say daily deals, for example, so you need to be seeing and uh, obviously reporting what works well, what doesn't work well. You can use A-B testing. Uh, so this is where you can obviously change various different layouts, different content, content, for example, um, whether it be headers, could be banners, could be different call to actions. So you just need to optimize the camp these campaigns to make them perform effectively and then retarget. So this is really important, obviously a special especially to your loyalty customers, those who have been true and um, shopping with you over the past couple of years, for example, retarget them with the data that you have on hand. Relevant content, 100% increase their likely to purchase down the funnel. Just a quick example here, one of my favorite Irish brands, so it's Lifestyle Sports. Captivating subject line, Nike running, be first to the finish line. So in the back of my head, I'm thinking if I'm gonna buy these products, it's obviously gonna give me a competitive advantage across my competitors who I'll be racing against. Lifestyle Sports with the branding on the left-hand side up here, faster, stronger, same thing. It's playing in the back of my head that I obviously need these products to obviously give me the competitive advantage. The USB, order before 10 p.m. for next day delivery. If I'm browsing after work, would it be 8 or 9 p.m. at night? That's a really strong, captivating offer. In terms of the body with content, it's very quick and easy, straight to the point about the products. It's nothing too comprehensive. Just clear call to actions, which is shop now. You're showing me the products, what works well. You might be trying to cross sell, optimize and increase bundle size, for example, whether it be the shoes, the shorts, the tights, um, the pullover, for example. Obviously now more than ever for winter training, you need to keep the muscles warm, for example. So these things always appeal to myself. And then down the bottom, all your contact information, store location, returns policy. Returns policy is really key at the moment because especially in the fashion sector, it's going to be increased over the next month and up towards Christmas. So it's clear that you need to obviously have an effective returns policy and you need to be in constant contact with your logistics partners too. Different tools you guys can utilize. Say for example, MailChimp, three up to 2000 subscribers, fantastic tool that you can use to obviously create your templates. It's really fun, it's interactive, just great reporting tools for it. So you can measure your performance and it just makes your messaging a lot more professional across your customer database. Up on the right hand side, you can see HubSpot. It's great CRM system, what you can do this, you can use this for your social media. It's a great, um, it's a great tool obviously for your email campaigns, any different marketing assets. So it's a really good, um, all in one package that you guys should utilize. And within Home by Flexify, we use Campaign Monitor for our email campaigns to customers. So it's a great way for us to obviously segment the data that we have on hand and effectively communicate that to the customer database. So next up, we got Sales Campaign Planner. So this is something that you guys should definitely utilize and it doesn't have to be the most prettiest thing that you do, you can do a simple thing campaign planner, for example, whether it be in Word document, Excel, if you're using a CRM system, 
like HubSpot, Shopify have platforms as well for this, for example, with your website. So you definitely should have one of these in place. And it's just simple uh, information that you guys obviously have to have stored on file just for your own records. So first off, it's your item. So what product or service are you trying to sell to the customers? Your regular price versus the sale price. Have these so you can obviously monitor the various discounts that they're going to entail whether it be the sale and start date and end date. So when are you going to start these offers and how long are they actually going to run for? Discount types, is it going to be automatically applied at the checkout or is there a specific code that the customers have to implement at the checkout? Whether it be through an email campaign, you've sent it out to them or social media, for example. Make note of your discount codes just purely from an organizational point because there's an awful lot of offers, whether it be daily deals, could be weekly deals, could be various different special offers. So just in terms of organizational advice for you guys, definitely do have the discount codes on file. What sort of sale types are they? So is the clearance sale, are you trying to offset different uh, elements of stock that you have excess of, or is it a flash sale, such as the daily deals? For example, is it one that'll pop up, special offers? You want to create that hype and excitement new product launching 12 p.m. today, check out our social media platforms for more information, for example. So it's all about enticing the customer to interact with your brand. And then promotional channels. Just make note of how you're obviously promoting this to your customers, whether it be across email or social media, for example. Contingency plan. Nobody obviously wants to be negative, but you have to prepare for the worst case scenario. It's 2020 after all, and an awful lot of things have been thrown at us. So it's best to obviously have the preparation down to a T before you launch a bespoke uh, Cyber Week marketing campaign. What happens if the website crashes? Do you have a backup server in place? Are you in contact with your web development agency? Do they have a backup site that they can put up a temporary um, web page up, for example, whether it be with your best sellers or different products that you're obviously going to be showcasing for each deal? Uh, on daily offers, for example, but definitely do uh, get in touch with your web development agency for a backup plan with that. Alternative logistic providers. So what happens if your delivery provider, if they're swamped, they can't obviously fill the orders, if they're not out to meet the demand, for example, if they're scheduled to come at 3 p.m. and they obviously get delayed by a couple of hours, do you have different local providers that you can utilize? Or is this something you might take on yourself? Whether it be staff, stock delays, how do you factor for this? Are you gonna be able to obviously manage the various different um, increase in order? Orders from customers, for example, do you have enough stock on hand? And then what happens if you actually can't get this stock out to the customers? Do you have an alternative plan in place and a resolution uh, system just for the customers? Campaigns fail. What happens if something happens, say, for example, if you have a CRM system, everything's automated, your campaigns are scheduled to go out, and if that crashes due to increased activity across the board, do you have these campaigns and the various content, whether it be social media campaigns, are these stored on a file? Do you have these with Facebook ad managers, for example? You need to have every single thing backed up just to prepare for the worst case scenario. And then customer support. You need to be fully functional seven days a week, especially now more than ever. And customers' expectations are growing constantly, obviously with an increase in online shopping. So you need to be on email, you need to be phone support, whether it be live chat and social media is a key one. I find Twitter is actually a great uh, tool to obviously update for customer service, whether it be checking in on my order, it could be DPD, it could be DHL, for example, or else extended opening times during Black Friday period. Competitors. So you've got to obviously be watching what different competitors are doing um, within your local sector. Say, for example, DID versus Harvey Norman. They play off each other across Black Friday and Cyber Week. They'd obviously be constantly monitoring each other. So what you should be doing is signing up to competitors' newsletters, finding out all the latest information, what they're doing, different product launches, different special offers, just so you can have one step up on the competition. Social media channels you should be following all your competitors. Say, for example, have different tabs open on your website so you can see the most up-to-date information, what they're doing, what they're launching. Set up a Google uh, Alerts. That's another great tool. So say, for example, if you have a direct competitor in your sector, set up Google Alerts. So anytime different brand mentions happen for that, you'll obviously be alerted. And then if they get any news or PR, say, for example, you'll be able to 
able to monitor that effectively and keep up to date with what's happening. Google Trends is another great tool. So check out what's happening in Google Trends online. So whether it be consumer shopping habits, what are they looking for in terms of the keywords, what are the browsing activities, and there might be much different activity, obviously compared to this time last year in terms of say pandemic purchases. So a lot of people, they'd be into health and fitness, home DIY, if they're at home at the moment, whether it be home office equipment, for example, there's a massive surge over the past couple of months. So do check these. And then last but not least, check out price to spy. So this shows all the prices of your competitors selling various different items. So these are a few kind of tools that you guys should definitely utilize and keep on the ball. Social media, massively important, comes in all shape or forms, but what you need to do is you need to find out what the right platform is for your right brand. Whether it be Facebook, could be Instagram, it could be Snapchat, it could be Twitter, there's nearly a different channel coming out every week I find, but social media has brilliant advantages to it, obviously in terms of boosting positive brand awareness, um, interacting with your customers, for example, increasing your conversion rates, and I know it's a great way to obviously bring the community together. Like there's been, there's been some fantastic fundraisers throughout the year with the Irish community, such as uh, PA The House, for example. They weren't obviously able to do their Darkness Into Light campaign this year, and they don't go GoFundMe page. And they have different advertising campaigns, whether it be across the Late Late Show, different influencers, and it's fantastic to see the Irish community come together. So next page, I'm just going to play a quick video of a social media campaign I came across. It's with Burger Kings and I thought it was absolutely fantastic. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Confused? Let me take you back a few steps. You haven't heard of Stevenage Football Club, right? Well, neither had we. But we realized that even though they're at the bottom of England's fourth division, they were going to appear in the same video game that all the expensive players were going to be in. And that's when, almost two years ago, we decided to sponsor Stevenage. Because if we put our logo on their real shirt, we would definitely have our logo in the game. Introducing the Stevenage Challenge. Gamers across the world immediately started choosing Stevenage, signing the best players to our team and playing with them. For every goal they shared on Twitter, we gave them rewards. The news took the gaming community by storm. One of the best kids in the game, the Stevenage, they had Burger King as their sponsor. Oh, Lawrence. Oh, my God, football food. What could possibly be better? Il est trop beau, les gars, Just like that, our small team in real life turned to the biggest team online. So, gamers took the best players in the world to play for Stevenage. Sports. It's in the flame. So that's one that I thought was really effective. I came across over the past month. So do check that out. So it's Burger King and Stevenage FC. It just shows that you can be creative. Obviously, you don't have to spend a huge amount of budget to have a fantastic marketing campaign. So just be smart, think outside the box, and just obviously have a think about how you can obviously interact with a kind of novel way to your customers. So it's a basic start off for anybody um, looking to obviously create a Facebook campaign, for example. So you just got to find out what the right platform is for yourself. But we'll take Facebook here. So anybody starting off, first and foremost, what you need to do is create an account with Facebook Ad Manager. So you can just log in and um, this will obviously show you how to obviously structure the campaigns. For example, what you do is you obviously choose your campaigns, your audience. So what you're obviously looking to achieve, the various different audience that you're looking to get across. You need to set the budget, whether it be daily, weekly, could be monthly, for example. What ad format are you going to use? So is it going to be pictures? Is it going to be video? Is it going to be carousel, for example? So there's a wide range of different formats available. Monitor key metrics. So this is your interaction with consumers, your engagement, your reach, your various different target audience. How is it performing? So you need to obviously monitor these on a daily, weekly, 
basis and this will obviously help you allocate your budget a bit more effectively. Then last but not least, you need to report on how the actual advert campaign uh, performed across the board. So you need to analyze what worked well, what didn't work well, and then you can utilize these findings for future marketing campaigns. So a great tool that you guys can utilize. So it's Facebook for Business. This is essentially your one-stop shop for all aspects of advertising, whether it be Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp messaging, you name it. There's an absolutely fantastic amount of resources available. So as I mentioned, you can go with Facebook, you can go with Instagram, you can go with Messenger, WhatsApp, there's various different marketing, how to create pages. There's also online courses that you guys can utilize. So it's great that you can obviously get certified. You can upskill your knowledge and expertise across various different aspects. And it's great that you can obviously showcase these across to your wider marketing team, for example. Now more than ever, it's really important to just be up to date with the latest marketing trends and tools available to give you guys a competitive advantage. Different courses uh, for available, for example, complete guide to advertising with Facebook ads. Um, you can create Facebook advertising campaigns, whether it be on Instagram as well. So definitely do utilize these resources. Another few tools available on Facebook for business. So they have various different industry reports across all different sectors. So it could be health and fitness, could be beauty, could be food, could be electronic and tech, for example. So do check out and see what they have available. And then last but not least, on Facebook for Business, they have different partner section. So they have certified partners across all different aspects of advertising across their platforms, whether it be based on demographics, could be sectors, for example. And these are all registered Irish agencies that will help you find a suitable fit for your brand to obviously optimize your performance across Facebook and Instagram advertising. Similarly, Twitter, it's a great platform. They have multiple solutions available to customers and businesses alike. So Twitter for business, you can do various different basics. So introduction to Twitter, for example, how to create a profile, what to even tweet, anybody more advanced, various different solutions available to you. So you can do different adverts, how you can target your demographic more effectively, analytics. So see how things are performing in the back end different resources available. So what worked well, what trends are happening, there's different blogs, there's videos available, just success stories. So definitely do utilize tools they have on board. And then they also have their ads help center. So this is very different uh, customer support, campaign setup, measurement, all the various different policies that you need to be aware of when you're obviously utilizing this tool to promote your brand awareness and interact with your customers. So this is one example here. So this is Carla Wilkinson. So he's a kid from Nebraska in America. And a couple of years ago, he tweeted, yo, Wendy's, how many retweets for a year of free chicken nuggets? They came back with 18 million and this thing went viral. So NBC, CNN, celebrities across the world all started interacting with this. And I actually beat the famous uh, Ellen DeGeneres Oscar photo. So you have people like Brad Pitt and Bradley Cooper in this one, for example. So all the biggest stars in the world, this um, tweet obviously got more traction and it actually became the second most popular tweet of all time. So it just shows a funny novel idea can obviously have massive interaction across customer database. Another tool you guys should be uh, utilizing LinkedIn Learning. So they have multiple resources available, both individual and from team aspect. So you can upskill your knowledge and expertise across a wide range of topics, whether it be uh, marketing, you can do Excel, you can do PowerPoint. There is an absolute wealth of knowledge and expertise available on hand. So definitely do utilize these supports. Anybody looking to use influencers, just a quick snapshot of what the key aspects you should focus on. So this is an example that we used previously with Home by Flexify. And we worked with our partner store, McElhenney's. And the whole thing was, we obviously wanted to increase brand awareness. We want to promote that Home by Flexify is available in McElhenney's in-store and online. And Holly was a great fit in terms of previous brands she had worked with. And she also uh, fell in with our brand values and likewise for McElhenney's. So starting off with influencers, you need to find your target audience, who you're looking to get the message across to, are you looking to increase your sales, whether it be millennials, for example. Once you define this, you obviously need to start looking at your influencers, whether it be agencies or individuals, you might look at micro influencers, it might be a bit more cost effective. What you, is really important with this is you obviously need to research the previous work, 
different brands, different campaigns they've worked with. Once you're happy and you select an influencer, you need to get a campaign brief in place. So what are you looking to achieve? What are the main objectives? What are the dates, the timelines? So these are all key when obviously uh, negotiating various different contracts with the influencer and their agency. So when we have a contract, so this is a legal agreement between yourself, your brand and the influencer, whether it be their agency, it might be those who deal with it. And you also need an NDA in place. So any confidential information, it obviously needs to be kept between yourself, the agency and the influencer, just to make sure it doesn't get into wrong hands. One really, really important aspect is brand and content guidelines. So any activity that's going to happen, it obviously has to keep in within the brand and content guidelines, both for your brand and various different partner store, for example. So the influencer, they may not decide to work with a certain brand or sector, for example. Then last but not least, measurement and re reporting. How are you going to measure the performance? Are you going to give a specific link? Is there going to be a discount code to obviously track sales, whether it be in-store and online? It's really important that you also get the agency to give accurate reporting, whether it be on the influencer's social media accounts, for example. They can utilize these tools, whether it be in a CRM system. And it's just really important that obviously the objectives, the dates, the timelines, everything's fulfilled to a high standard and you just need to keep it as organized as possible. If you're looking to outsource um, to an agency, for example, Social Media Elite, they're a great Irish agency. They work with top brands, whether it be Mars Pharmacy, Sosumi, Dunn Stores, Hootsuite on the right-hand side. So this is a tool and it allows you to schedule all your social media uh, content across multiple channels, whether it be Facebook, could be Instagram, could be Twitter. So it's it's cost effective and it obviously allows you to focus on different aspects of the business. If you're looking for an agency in terms of promoting brand awareness, different activation campaign, editorials, you can look at Love and Media Group. We've worked with them over the past couple of years and they're a great agency to work with. Then last but not least, on the right-hand side, we have Canva. So this is a tool that you can use to uh, create various different graphics, different posters. It, it allows you essentially to create really professional looking content at cost effective price. So definitely do utilize this because an awful lot of top brands actually still use these tools. Content is king, so this one speaks for itself. A few examples here that I think are really, really effective. So we have Gymshark on the left-hand side. So our athletics and fitness brand, they're the fastest growing company in the UK and they're recently valued at over a billion dollars. So earlier in the year with lockdown, they tweeted, we changed our name to Home Shark because some of you needed reminding to stay home. And this is actually the most popular tweet of all time. So it just emphasizes the point that we all need to stick together and play on the same team to obviously help the fight against COVID. Up a top right hand side, my favorite athlete of all time, Mr. Usain Bolt. He's been social distancing and keeping his two meter gap um, obviously since he started running. So that was another kind of cool and quirky example. Then down the bottom, we have a great one from Nike. If you ever dreamed of playing for millions around the world, now is your chance. Play inside, play for the world. We're all on the same team in this across, across the world, all various different races, different countries. We're all playing against a fight of coronavirus and COVID. So um, these are three examples of great campaigns that I just thought resonate with people really effectively. Great example of an Irish brand who are fantastic in terms of content. So we got Gym Plus Coffee. They do in-store online events. They promote women in sport, which is hugely important, whether it be the athletes on the track, could be on the rugby field, on the hockey pitch. They have Brian O'Driscoll as their head of community. He's a great brand ambassador for those guys. He's a well-respected sporting legend, and he really gets behind the health and fitness mindset of the brand. Left-hand side, we have their Make Life Richer campaign. So everything they do, it's all about um, obviously making your life richer, whether it be healthy, active lifestyle, and they do uh, different events throughout the year, such as the hike up um, into Dublin Mountains. Then last but not least, they have their Pick It Week competition. So this is where they showcase all their customers across, across the world, whether it be in Ireland, could be the UK, it could be Australia, for example. And customers send in pictures wearing the apparel of the clothing brand. And then the best one each week, it obviously gets shared across their platforms. So it's a great way to obviously promote positive brand awareness across the world. Search engine, engine optimization. This one's key to obviously have an effective um, performance 
for Cyber Week 2020. So what you need to be doing is monitoring 2019 campaigns. What worked well, what worked different well. So what aspects can you obviously learn from previous campaigns? Keyword research, you need to be checking what's trending, whether it be on Google, for example, various different keywords within your specific sector that you're obviously looking to target, see what customers are searching for. Google Trends, I mentioned previously, pandemic purchases. There was a huge rise in health and fitness um, equipment over the past couple of months, home and DIY, people were at home, uh, garden accessories, for example. So definitely do check what's trending on Google at the moment, what people are searching for, and what are the most popular products that customers are looking to shop online with. Have a dedicated Cyber Week page. So you want to make things as easy as possible for customers going onto your site to obviously find the most up-to-date special offers that you're looking to showcase. So whether it be Black Friday specials, could be Cyber Monday, um, you just need to highlight and add uh, added value for the customers to obviously keep you, them on your site as opposed to going off to a competitor's website. Cyber Week blog, it's just up-to-date information, whether it be customer support, the various different uh, product offering you're going to use and then different specials, uh, what's, what you're gonna be launching across the week, say for example, whether it be, could be TVs, could be laptops, could be headphones, for example, if you're Harvey Norman. So it's another great way to obviously boost consumer engagement and have positive SEO effects. Clear information, everything has to be clear, straight to the point for the customers, guide them to the relevant content that they're searching for, and you need to highlight your unique selling point. What differentiates you guys from everybody else within the similar market that you're operating in? Bit of technical SEO. So whether it be your agency that you're working with or else internally, you might be looking after this. So this is the key aspects that you guys need to focus on. Mobile page loading speeds. Everything needs to be mobile first at the moment. Like all the research, it comes across that consumers are mobile first. They have been and they will continue to operate with this. So you need to be on the ball and obviously ensure that your mobile page loading speed is operating as efficiently as possible. Google AMP for faster load times. You need to optimize this to obviously increase the page load time, whether it be if you have high quality content, videos, kind of creative uh, adverts on your website, you just need to make sure these are loading as fast as possible and getting straight to the point to obviously get in front of your consumers. Update the XML sitemap for new pages. So you need to be telling the various different search engines such as Google, if you have different new content, different pages on your website, because if there's more relevant content, that's gonna add greater added value to your customers. You need to showcase this and get this as the first search result for your consumers. Arrow 404 messages, for example, you need to go through all various different backlinks, just do a crawl of the website, just to make sure everything's working 100% as it should, because there's nothing more irritating. If I go onto a new brand, for example, and I press uh, athletic shoes, whether it be I'm looking for a new pair, for the track, for example, and if I get the error 404 message, I probably won't go back to that brand again. I'll go to a different competitor. Website index for context. So you need to be ensuring that anything that the customers are searching for is given in the relevant uh, search result. So if I search for runners, for example, I don't want to be uh, brought back to a search result for hats or scarves because it's relevant and it's not what I was actually looking for. Then last but not least, uh, Canon uh, tags for similar pages. So you need to obviously update the various different search engines to update them. If you have duplicate content on different pages, what's the most relevant piece of information that you need to showcase to your customers and guide them down that uh, purchase funnel. In terms of on-site SEO, targeting more keywords. So this is where you need to look at different keywords that you're targeting, whether it be on page two or three of Google, for example, and how you can obviously increase that, whether it be onto the first or second page to increase your likely to get in front of consumers, increase your positive brand awareness and increase conversion rates. Clear call to actions. We mentioned this one before, whether it be buy now, shop now, enter now for awards, sign up for different notifications, for example, you have to have them clearly outlined for your customers, front and center, whether it be emails on the website, social media. These are all key aspects that you need to focus on. Unique selling points. So you need to get showcase this and what makes you stand out from the crowd. Why should I shop with you in respect to a very different competitor in the same aspect? 
we mentioned previously with the error 404 messages, fix all the broken links. Do a crawl of the website just to make sure everything's operating at 100% capacity and make sure that there's no broken links uh, visible to consumers. Brand mentions, for example, say for, for instance, if you're using an editorial with an agency, you might be loving media. And if they obviously mention your brand, make sure all those links and any various different blogs, for example, they're linking back correctly to your website. And then last but not least, we mentioned blogs. It's a great way to interact with your uh, target market, boost SEO, and just interact and add added value for your customers and brand alike. A few different tools that you guys should definitely utilize. Google Digital Garage, they have a wealth of various different resources available, online certificates. You can look to various different aspects, whether it be Google Shopping, could be AdWords, advertising on youtube there's an absolute wealth of knowledge that you guys should check out with this and you can do all your online certificates uh, as well so it's a great way to obviously upskill your knowledge and expertise across various different aspects if you're looking for an agency great ones core optimization so we work with them ourselves and home by flexify specialize in a wide range of different aspects for the repaid search can be developing an effective digital strategy and display advertising. So if you talk to Caroline and the team, they'll be more than happy to assist you guys. Website 101. So these are a few basics that you guys need to obviously utilize ahead of Black Friday and Cyber Week. Banners, so you obviously need to showcase your various different special offers, have it front and center the second the customer comes onto your website. Show the real added value that your brand can offer. Pop-up notifications and discounts, whether it be a new customer signing up, for example, you might have five, 10% off purchase. Some people do a spin to wheel, pop-up notification so you can spin. It's a bit more interactive, fun for a larger discount. You need to stress test your website. So work with your web development agency. So obviously ensure that it's able to handle a very different capacity for the increased amount of users that's going to see over the next month to two months with Cyber Week and Christmas alike. Heat maps. So we implement this on the site. So what you can do is you can track the user journeys, what's performing well, what's not performing well. For example, what aspects of the site are getting increased tra traction and then what aspects are having poor performance and leading to uh, bounce rate increases. A-B testing. So this is where you can test various different um, designs on a web page, whether it be banners, it could be layout for call, call to actions, for example, what's performing really well what's not working to the standard obviously you, you would hope to receive and then you can take these shared learnings on board and implement them for future campaigns and design on your web page then last but not least simple tool google analytics so this allows you to highlight key online metrics whether it be users uh, various different devices they're logging on to your bounce rate your conversion rate so do be checking this on an hourly and daily basis to be fair over the next month to two months, because if something isn't performing, obviously where it should be in terms of you have large bounce rates, you need to address this straight away. Another few tools that you guys should utilize. So live chat, it's a great way to obviously boost customer engagement with people interacting on your, your website, whether it be if they need assistance, locating a product, uh, updated delivery times or customer support in general check out optimization so you need to have this working as best as possible so say for example you just want to buy now shop now button front and center making it clear clear and effective for the customers what you should also use utilize is cross-selling and bundling items say for example if you're an online baby retailer and if you're buying say for example uh, a buggy you might have various different uh, nursery accessories that you can obviously bundle to try increase your average order value predictive search this is one thing that's obviously really effective on the websites so say for example if i'm searching for a laptop if i type in lap uh, it'll bring up various of a laptop results results uh, searches for me and obviously it's going to take into account previous search habits so it's going to give relevant content based on the data that you have on hand real-time stock so important that you have real-time stock updated with your EPUS system. You need to create a sense of urgency sometimes, whether it be only two stock uh, items left, for example. And because like this is crucial in terms of if you have a customer, if they're shopping online, and if they actually pay for the purchase, 
they think the order is going to get fulfilled and then they receive an email from customer support saying we're actually out of stock it's just an absolutely terrible user experience so just please do try avoid that returns policy absolutely crucial at the moment because there's going to be a huge increase in returns across the board especially fashion sector would it be male and female so you need to have this clear and concise what are the returns policies what's the procedures how long what dates is available to obviously return is there a cost could be free of charge for example so you just need to have everything clear and transparent for the customers the last but not least reviews so definitely do utilize online online reviews word of mouth is huge in terms of customer referrals for friends and families use google reviews facebook reviews different tools such as trustpilot for example so there's a wealth of different tools available to you guys digital assistant is another great tool that has uh, multiple effects that can increase uh, positive uh, user experience and obviously highlight um, an increase in conversion rate across the board so a few benefits of using digital assistant is improving your customer engagement so obviously directing to the customers to the relevant content and relevant product searches that they're looking to do i mentioned increased conversion rate so if you can assist them to the relevant piece of content whether it be product or service laptop for example they're much more likely to obviously increase if you can guide them down the purchase funnel i mentioned bundling items so you need to cross sell various different items this will increase your average order value you boost your customer loyalty because if you have a better customer experience on a website for example i'm much more likely to obviously return for a future purchase and refer you to friend or family and then last but not least it's just that one-to-one personalized experience if i'm on site with digital assistants it's talking to myself hi david what are you looking for today can i help you if i input obviously the data i'm looking for it'll guide me to the right product and it'll just be a better customer experience as a whole so this is an example here so this is company v global work with them over the past and this customer so they're looking for a laptop on curry's pc world the digital assistant will ask them a few different questions. So you're looking to browse on the web. Is it for school? Is it for gaming? So based on the relevant search results, they're going to guide me down the purchase funnel. So if I'm browsing for a web, it'll bring me to response A, for example, if it's gaming. So it'll be response D. So I might need more uh, RAM, different memory, different software packages relevant to the obviously tools that I'm going to be needing this for. We mentioned discounts cross-selling. So it's all about that sense of urgency expires soon. So you want to increase and entice customers to purchase obviously as fast as possible. And what you can do is you can retarget to customers with different uh, email campaigns, social campaigns, whether it be abandoned carts, uh, adverts, for example. And then cross-selling items, as we mentioned before, we'll take, for example, if we're selling a laptop, you obviously want to add in various different uh, additional products, whether it be insurance, could be a warranty, could be additional memory, for example. So it's all about how you can increase the average order value with customers. A few different tools that you guys should also utilize, Google Market Finder. So you can search obviously by URL, add various different product categories you're looking um, to ship with, whether it be women's clothing, could be handbags, purchases, just multiple different advice and information available. So you can find out various different trends for a locality across the EU, across the globe, shopping habits, what works well in Germany in terms of payment methods, is it cash, is it card, what are legal requirements, logistics, domain um, delivery operators, could be DHL, DPD. So it's a wide range of information available to yourself that you should definitely utilize. And a few other great resources that they have on board. It allows you to obviously develop whether it be a global marketing strategy, how you can optimize your business performance, advertising across different platforms, such as YouTube, for example. So there's an absolute wide range of knowledge and expertise available at Google Market Finder. And it's definitely worth checking out, especially now coming up to Christmas and Cyber Week. Moving on to platforms. So in terms of different websites that you guys can utilize, there's a massive uptake in Shopify over the past couple of months. It's obviously a fantastic tool. It's an out of box solution, which integrates with whether it be your EPOS, your social media um, accounts, for example. The beauty about Shopify is you don't need to have obviously the developer knowledge and expertise. You can obviously create your website um, yourself and they have a huge amount of resources on board that can obviously help 
increase your online performance and maximize your sales opportunities. WooCommerce with WordPress, it's another really popular uh, platform. It's a quick and easy content management system that Irish retailers can use. Magento, it'd be a bit more complex, whether it be the high-end fashion retailers might utilize this. Then you'd like to press the shop, open carts, Night Yourself is another good agency, and AB Commerce with Magico. They do some great work with the likes of McGurk Golf, Vaughn Shoes, for example. And over on the left-hand side, there's a few different agencies, such as Monsoon Consulting, Ireland Website Design, Milk Bottle Labs. So if anybody wants advice or information in terms of platforms, do get in touch, and I'll be happy to recommend these. So lastly, move on to a few different supports for you guys. So obviously, utilize the supports available within Digital Business Ireland. We support members and partners across a wide range of aspects, whether it be web development, marketing, legal, taxation, public affairs. If there's something we can help with, we definitely will. Utilize your local enterprise offices, whether it be Leo Online Trading Grant, or your domain registry. So if you're registering your .ie website, for example, they also have some fantastic reports and resources such as the Tipping Point uh, report and um, the Digital Health Index that you guys should definitely check out. Get in touch with your local Chamber of Commerce, whether it be Insights, they might do different webinars, different events, just a wide range of different supports available to SMEs and retailers trading online at the moment. For a larger scale, Enterprise Ireland, so the online uh, trading vouchers definitely do get in touch with Enterprise Ireland to see what resorts, resorts and uh, supports are available to yourself at the moment because they're doing some fantastic works with Irish companies across various different sectors. And we're also a member of e-commerce Europe within Digital Business Ireland. So if you're looking for advice or information across various different EU countries, expanding uh, your online presence, we'll be happy to do introductions and get knowledge and expertise for the various different sectors. So we went through an awful lot of information there today, guys, and this is one quote that just resonates with myself, but I think it does sum things up nicely. So some people want it to happen, some people wish it would happen, other people make it happen. So this is Michael Jordan, famous quote from the recent documentary, uh, The Last Dance on Netflix. So we've given tools, we've given knowledge and expertise here, but you obviously need to put in the groundwork and um, do, do the back end work, whether it be your campaigns, whether it be the website, it could be social media, for example. So it's a continuous work in progress, but just fantastic opportunities available to people trading online at the moment in Ireland. So that's all for me, guys. If you want any more information, you can contact me directly on LinkedIn. My email is david.campbell at flexigroup.com.au. If you need any supports, whether it be Digital Business Ireland or Home by Flexify, for example, we're more than happy to help out you guys. So thanks a million for tuning in today and best of luck with Cyber Week 2020. Thank you.